On this week's episode, we're taking a trip back into the distant past to discover dark secrets and forgotten betrayals with a look at the history of one of the original 13 primes, Megatronus, the first Decepticon, also known as The Fallen. The Fallen was an original character created for Dreamwave Productions' Transformers comic books by writer Simon Furman and artist Pat Lee. An ancient robot who transformed into a tank, his body constantly ablaze like a fiery furnace, The Fallen first appeared in the 2003 comic The War Within The Dark Ages. But this series only hinted at his true nature, with the details being filled in soon after its publication by guidebooks More Than Meets the Eye and Transformers The Ultimate Guide. The robot who would become The Fallen was one of the first 13 Transformers created in the primordial past by Primus the God of Light to aid him in his battle against his evil brother Unicron, the Lord of Chaos. This robot betrayed his comrades and sided with Unicron against them, but he and his master were defeated and hurled into a black hole, leaving him trapped in the void between dimensions. For his crime, the betrayer's true name was stricken from history, and he became known only as The Fallen. As seen in The Dark Ages, The Fallen was able to return to Cybertron after a space bridge accident tore open a portal into his prison, and he set about sowing chaos as part of a ceremony that would summon Unicron back to the planet, but he was stopped and apparently destroyed by Primus himself. The introduction of The Fallen was a key moment for the Transformers mythos. His story was the first time these mysterious original 13 Transformers had ever been mentioned, and Hasbro were quick to latch onto the concept, building upon Furman's early ideas over the next few years to sculpt a complex lore for these enigmatic characters, which included the release of a figure of The Fallen in the Titanium series toyline in 2007. Between the profile included with this toy, comics from the Transformers Collectors Club, and convention and online Q&A sessions, it was established that the 13 were all primes, divinely powerful godlike beings who controlled the primal forces of creation, who had each been created with a grand cosmic purpose. The Fallens had been to oversee the forces of entropy, which was what had inadvertently brought him into contact with Unicron, the ultimate force of entropy and chaos in the first place. But this was all really obscure, deep lore stuff, consumed only by the most hardcore of fans. So it was a pretty huge surprise when it was announced that The Fallen would be hitting the big screen as the lead villain of the 2009 live action movie Revenge of the Fallen. Unicron wasn't included in the movie incarnation of The Fallen's origin story. In this version of events, he and his fellow Primes came to Earth in 17,000 BC, intending to harvest the planet's sun for Energon. Upon discovering that Earth was populated, the other Primes halted their plans, but the power-mad Fallen, disgusted by humanity, refused to stop and turned on his brothers, determined to activate their stellar harvester and take the power of the sun for himself. With this act of betrayal, he and his followers became the first Decepticons, with the Fallen's face serving as the basis of their insignia. Ultimately, the other Primes defeated the Fallen and hid away the Harvester's activation key, the Matrix of Leadership. Ancillary media expanded on the film's story to reveal that, as in Dreamwave's comics, the Fallen's defeat saw him banished to another dimension. But from within his prison, he made contact with a young Megatron, mentoring him in the ways of evil, and through him, rebuilding the Decepticons to continue his work. When the Matrix was located by Sam Witwicky in the present day, the Fallen, freed from his exile, made another attempt to harvest Earth's sun, but he was destroyed by his brother's last living descendant, Optimus Prime. The Fallen didn't transform within the movie itself, his powers of teleportation and telekinesis more than compensating for his lack of an alternate mode, but an alien spacecraft form was designed for him for the film's tie-in toyline. 
Now, for a time, Hasbro's official word on the Fallen and the rest of the Thirteen was that they were special beings known as multiversal singularities. This meant that across all the different infinite Transformers universes, there was only one Fallen. Despite how different their stories were, the Fallen seen in Dreamwave's comics, the movies, and the handful of other media that the character cropped up in in the wake of the movie raising his profile, were all the same singular being, who actually travelled from dimension to dimension, living different lives in each. As time passed, however, and Hasbro continued to further develop their definitive vision for the Thirteen, they decided they didn't want to be constrained by the rules of past stories, and this idea was formally abandoned. Hasbro's new vision for the Fallen was rolled out as part of the Aligned Continuity, a tragic tale that was recounted between 2010 and 2013 in the novels Transformers Exodus and Exiles and the guidebook The Covenant of Primus. It was in these books that the Fallen's true name was revealed for the first time. He was Megatronus, the robot after whom Megatron had named himself. Megatronus was the twelfth of the Primes created by Primus, who embodied the concept of darkness as a natural counterbalance to light. A ruthless warrior filled with rage and passion, he was shunned by many of the other Primes for his dark nature, particularly Prima, the warrior of light, which only made him hate and resent them. But he also found love among them with Solus Prime, who created his personal weapon, the Requiem Blaster. Sadly, after the Thirteen defeated Unicron, Megatronus fell under the influence of his wicked brother, Liege Maximo, who was plotting against the other Primes, and who stoked Megatronus's anger and resentment with lies and deception to further turn him against them. A disagreement fostered between Megatronus and Solus by Maximo escalated into a physical fight, during which Megatronus accidentally killed his lover with the very blaster she had created. Disgraced and tormented by what he had done, he abandoned his name to become the Fallen, and disappeared into exile. Millennia later, the legend of the Fallen, of the bot who lashed out at those who looked down upon him, served as the inspiration upon which Megatron founded the Decepticons. This new origin story would form the basis of Megatronus' subsequent appearances in the later 2010s, with each new series that he appeared in putting its own spin on the events. First, there was 2015's Robots in Disguise animated series, which stripped out the story's tragic elements to once again depict Megatronus as an unambiguous villain. As in past stories, this iteration of Megatronus was imprisoned in another dimension for the murder of Solus. But he was still able to exert some influence on the world, and in the present day, he caused the Autobot prison ship Alcamore to crash on Earth. Making contact with one of the escaped Decepticon prisoners, Steeljaw, Megatronus guided him in constructing a device that freed him from his prison. Megatronus sought to destroy both Earth and Cybertron as revenge for his exile, but he was defeated by Bumblebee's team of Autobots. In 2018, Megatronus appeared as the arch-villain of Machinima's Prime Wars trilogy of cartoons. Mad with grief over the death of Solus Prime, Megatronus sought to bring together the powers of the Requiem Blaster, the Matrix of Leadership, and the Enigma of Combination to drain the sparks of every Transformer in the universe in order to resurrect his lost love. A team led by Megatron put a stop to his plans, and Solus's spirit dragged Megatronus into the afterlife with her. IDW Publishing's comic books featured the most different version of Megatronus's story, in which he and the Primes were not divine beings, but simply tribal leaders on ancient Cybertron, whose deeds served as the inspiration for myths and legends about them. Megatronus was the unfortunate pawn of Shockwave, a Decepticon from the future who travelled back in time, and who created the legend of the Primes by orchestrating both their rise to power and their downfall. It was at Shockwave's direction that Megatronus staged a series of false flag attacks across Cybertron, creating an atmosphere of fear that prompted the Primes to start working together. 
but it was also at Shockwave's command that Liege Maximum manipulated Megatronus into turning against the others, leading to Solus's death, stabbed by the Star Saber Sword when she attempted to defend Prima after Megatronus attacked him. Megatronus subsequently slew Prima in a final battle on the planet Seishi, after which Shockwave destroyed Megatronus to prevent his role in events from coming to light. Megatronus's journey from mysterious comic book beginnings to unexpected screen stardom to a key figure in Transformers lore has been one represented by toys of all shapes and sizes, including a dynamic action figure from Flame Toys based on his original Dreamwave design, scheduled for release in late 2020. He's been a heartless villain, a tragic fallen anti-hero, a betrayer, a murderer, the first Decepticon both literally and metaphorically, and while he's been defeated many times, it seems certain that the fallen will eventually rise once more. And those are the basics on The Fallen. Leave a comment below about where you first encountered the character and which of his origin stories you like the most. Like and subscribe for more Transformers history and lore, and I'll see you next time for the long-awaited 100th episode of The Basics.